technology is changing phones are getting smarter then why don't you get smarter and change your selfie game if you've seen my old video i've talked about how to take selfies remember that video where i have long hair and i talk about basics in that video but today what i'm going to talk about you've never heard that before these are completely game changing selfies so stick around and watch my today's episode so i'm very excited about today's episode let's go ahead and see what my first tip of the day is so what is this i don't have a selfie stick i have a little tripod and this is absolutely an amazing tip because travel with a tripod instead of a selfie stick now see what happens i can use this as a selfie stick your smartphones have timers in them use them i put it on a timer and there i go there you have a few selfies the second advantage of using this tripod is this time you don't have to hold the camera just use the timer and you can take some vertical shots why do we have to take close up selfies when we can actually take far more interesting pictures of ourselves Or how about I even try some casual very blogger style casual walking shots you've seen those on Instagram and you want them but now you can do it yourself So that's how simple it is to take pictures like those bloggers are taking all over Instagram This is not it guys I have some more in store so let's go and explore Okay So I know it's not common for everyone to own an Apple Watch, but if you have one and you're not taking selfies with it, then you're wasting a fantastic watch right there. Did I just say selfies with your Apple Watch? Of course. Now I'm going to keep the camera where I want it to be. Get my Apple Watch ready. So now I'm quite far from my phone. I have put it on a 3 second timer on my watch. And there I go. So there you have it. I have taken a picture with my phone. How many of you have tried it? If you haven't tried it yet, then go down right now and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment and do share it with all your selfie addict friends. Next step is to be shameless. If you want good pictures, don't be ashamed to walk up to people and ask them to take pictures of you because remember, they don't know you, they're never going to see you again. So don't be afraid to pose. Hi, excuse me. Can you take a picture of yeah, me, sure. please? And just go for it. If you want to take like three or four pictures, okay. just for me. Can we just take something with the?
Now you may have heard this a million times that you need to be in good light when you're taking selfies. But what is good light? I have noticed a ton of people just walk straight into sunlight but see what happens when you stand directly under sunlight for taking pictures. This creates really harsh shadows and it's not flattering at all. When you want to take good selfies and you want good lighting, this is what good lighting is. All I'm going to do is just step a few steps away from the sunlight and I'm here. Now take a look at the spot where I was to where I am. So the sunlight is actually hitting the ground a few feet away from me. Now I step like four or five steps away from the sunlight and I'm actually using the sunlight but the sunlight is not directly on my face it's bouncing off that ground and it's working actually as a reflector and giving me this really nice soft light on my face let's take a look at some of the pictures that I shot with this lighting I'm sure even on camera the lighting is looking far more appealing than it looked when I was directly under the sunlight so there is a reason why this light is working for me because I'm not directly under the sun the light is not bouncing off of the ground the light is actually bouncing off of a building. The sunlight that's bouncing off of either ground, windows, glass, water is always much softer than the sunlight directly hitting your face. So use that. So I don't have any reflectors or lights or anything. It's just the light that's bouncing off from that window. I don't know how many of you actually own an iPhone 7 Plus, but the technology of portrait pictures I think it's pretty common in quite a few phones. Use that, especially if you're out in good lighting. The portrait mode gives you fantastic results. I hope you enjoyed my today's video. This was requested for a very long time and I knew I had to update this video, but better late than never. Let me know what you think about today's video. You know where to comment, it's in the comment box below. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that little bell you see next to it because that way you will get an alert every week when I post a new video, which is every Thursday. That's it for today. Signing off, Parmita. Blush with me.